The QSYS User Control Interface, or UCI for short, provides a means for the end user to control parts of your QSYS design through a network device, like a QSYS touchscreen, an iPhone, iPad, you name it. The choice is yours as to how much or how little you'd like the user to be able to control the system, and the amount of creativity you put into designing your UCI can really go a long way. In this design, we'll go through the basic steps of creating, editing, and deploying a UCI, and along the way, you'll see some pretty cool UCIs that have been designed by actual QSYS users. Now, the first step is to go to your user control interface panel in the left pane. By default, there is a UCI here entitled Inventory Status. And if you just started your design, there should be one page called Default Location. Now, you can't remove, rename, or edit this UCI, which will automatically be populated with the status bars of the items in your inventory, like this core status right here. If you customize the name of your location of your inventory, then the UCI page will change from default to the name you supplied. For instance, if I were to go over here and change this to front of house, and go back to my UCI control, there it's already changed. To create your own customized UCI, start by clicking the plus icon in your UCI panel and click New User Control Interface. And now you have a new blank UCI with one page in it. If you click the plus icon again, you'll have a new option that says Add Page to Interface 1. And that will give you a second page on your UCI. Now you'll notice that navigation tabs have appeared on your UCI. By default, these tabs automatically show up on the left-hand side. But if you select your UCI and you come over here to Page Tabs, you can change the position of that. You can put it at the bottom, at the right, at the top. Let's put them back to the left. You also can adjust the font size in your UCI. and Let's go ahead and bring this back up to 20, maybe. The last option under Page Tab is called None. If we select None, you'll notice that the tabs have disappeared, but you probably still want to give your users the ability to move from screen to screen, so let me show you a couple ways to accomplish this. You could start by simply dragging this page icon from your UCI panel into your UCI, and it will create these buttons that you can later customize the appearance of. The other way is for touchscreens only, and that you can do just by swiping between pages like you would on any uh, iOS device. This function is available on the QSC TSC8, iPhone, and iPad. Let's take a look at some of the other options in your Properties panel. You could change the title of your UCI. Let's call this My UCI. You can disable the swipe function on any of the touchscreen controls. And down here, you'll see Panel Type. Now, this is where you're going to decide what the size of your UCI is. You can see that when you change your selection, the dimensions of the UCI page are automatically adjusted to the appropriate size of your device. Because of this, it's important to select the panel type and page orientation before adding content to your UCI, or else your design might end up with components that are off the edge of your visible area. Other panel types include 16x10, 16x9, 4x3, iPad, iPhone, TSC3, and the TSC8. Let's go ahead and put it back to the TSC8. There's one other option, which is the custom option, which will let you choose in inches the diagonal size of your UCI and the horizontal and vertical resolution of your UCI. For most panel types, you'll also be able to choose between landscape and portrait. Finally, if you activate the private field, then this UCI will be hidden from the iOS and PC UCI viewers, allowing them to only be viewed by QSC's touchscreen controllers. Now, each of the pages within your UCI has its own properties panel, which you can change the title of, so we'll call this one Audio Controls. And you can also change the fill color, so let's go ahead and change that to a nice black. Note that if you change the title of your pages, these names will automatically populate in your tabs, but you'll have to manually change any navigation buttons that you've already pulled in. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's the end of part one. If you need to take a quick break, go for it. If not, go to the next section.